So this is the am I white I thought, it, I thought it died. Derek, am I recording? I, didn't, I, didn't, I couldn't tell if it beeped because Tyler's went off. Yeah, you yeah. uh, it's, it's like 413. No, they'll call for us, right? No. Yeah. They'll tell us. Well, yeah, they'll say ghost tours at the start. Um, you want to go find out real quick? Go find Let's out. Let's go. We'll wait here. Hang on. Get a look around the side. Go look inside. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This one green is the first one. Some different colored coordinates. But when you see red, that means it's all activity. It won't go off anymore. Uh, which has happened. Huh? So, um, yeah, but it's turned off the lights, so you guys can play around. Oh no, she was like... I got blinded. The more activity there is that you, um, more than you put out, talking, asking questions, um, pretending that you're at a bar, and, and you know, all that bar talk, um, the more active they are. Oh, the tripwire. The tripwire is going on. It will turn blue. Am I recording? Mm -hmm. He's touching. That was about So, Speak easy. Um, Oh, okay. There's a camera, no, so it's not if anything. If it goes off, it's not so, Oh, um, so some whiskey. Jack and Coke a little bit. You know? A Bloody Mary. No, no, no. Jack and Did you just say Bloody Mary? Virgin Bloody Mary. Jack Virgin. It's a Virgin Bloody Mary. Shut up. Um, That's the only drink I've had. So. I mean. His name was there. There we go. Can you walk around with this? Take a seat. Come take a seat. Right Do the temperature on the room pod? <laughs> temperature on the red? What the hell? Oh, it's someone with a laser. Someone has a laser. I can't. Uh, I think terrible. Infrared or does it just do regular? Uh, not these ones. Not those. No, our infrared camera um, is down. It's on. Oh, whoa. That's temperature change, I believe. They didn't touch it there, come Phone's dead. Check your battery. Your phone's dead? No, that's what they say. Phones are being drained. 560. That's her. It's draining batteries. No, his, his did over there. Do you want to go behind the bar? Yeah, his did over there. Derek? It's because he's touching. It's not. He's just not touching the ring. Mm -hmm. I keep touching. Go ahead. You want to walk back there, Derek? Is that you or no? No, I don't Back up there. 
No, it was me? It wasn't us. No, no, no. It just like randomly died. Her phone battery like went for it. Yeah. My phone battery literally like my phone was almost fully charged when we got here. And then after I'm gonna go back to my phone was like We can't go back to the park. Yeah, very good. So far I've wanted to see that. Yeah, it's definitely a little do you remember watching Paranormal like Activity? The they showed it. Yeah, that's where they moved. You can see it. You can see it moving. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You see it? Somewhere. Yeah. You never used those? Like, no. Like, they're really, they're really cool. And then the crazier thing. I believe that's temperature change. In the change. bathroom room, one of the spirits on like the box oh. that they used said my nickname. Oh wow. Literally, and oh, wow. I didn't even say my. Right, move. Is that you? Is that you? Man. Is that Harry? Yeah, is that hey. you? Was it you? Harry, that was you. Do that again. Oh, yeah. Harry? Harry, is that you? How about one more time? Are you still sitting here? Right there. That's a trip line. We'll buy you a drink. Is that ball or trigger? Harry, you buy a drink? It was over here. It was just there. Yeah, I was gonna say it's probably here. Uh, clean Whoa. up the sinks. That's what I, yeah, yeah, you, works, I was gonna say you are near. Work? It might be a uh, trigger. Uh, yeah. No, it's exactly. tripwire when it's touched. Not tripwire. Yeah. Not sorry. Not so as sensitive. Oh, okay. Not as sensitive because you can actually. Can touch you lift this up for me? Then you're actually banging it to your sink. Right. So it's just sitting there and it goes off. Yeah. If it's sitting there like this and goes off, you know it's something else. Something. Yeah. Because we don't. Can you come and see with us? Oh, like that one right there. Yeah, yeah that, one that one's going yeah. oh, to No, it can't be you because you have to touch the antenna. Well, to yeah, I didn't touch it at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't touch it. It just started going off. Okay, yeah, that one, what's up with that one? It keeps flashing. Target roots. Oh, so what is it roots? Like light up. Like what is it? Like fire? 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 Like
It looks like he's moving this way. Oh, is it because I'm the only one sitting here? Can I get a glass of whiskey? He's still here. Hello. Here's a tunnel. There was. It's blocked off now. No one's saying. Look. Look. I know. I'm saying because he he seems to be following me because I I went over there and he just like followed me so I'm seeing if he comes back. It just went off right there. But both of them. He seems to be like over here. He's right there. He's moving back and forth. He might be serving some people. Oh, I saw another one go off over here. I think he's serving some people. Oh, so some of the lights got covered. Here's. But we also have... Well, oh, Harry, can you touch the dog in front of me? Sensor facing that way, too. It's supposed to be packed. Yeah. I don't think that's how much protection. I know we're driving nuts. Is that me? That's me. Just me. See if I move it, will it still go on? It's gonna be over here somewhere. That was temperature. You seen that, right? Oh my god. No. no. Excuse me. You're missing shadows back here. Where? They were just walking across the lights. You seen that, right? Yeah. Creeping you out? Tell me that's not amazing, though. No? Creepy, but I see you walking across. Can you walk towards us again? Can you come towards us right here? Yeah, right, right, right. We, we, we want to be able to walk right up there. Can you come to this device? Oh, oh, that's, oh that's that, just, no, that wasn't That's you. a motion sensor. Yeah, but it wasn't you, no, it's was facing you. that way. Alright. I'll be crap myself if something Can you walk towards us again? Thank you. Can, but can you walk towards us again? We, we want to make sure it's you. Where are you us. seeing him? Is this Harry? Just watch the green lights. Is this the woman from behind the bar? Are you getting more drinks back here? I just heard tapping. It's creaking. Can you walk towards us? Oh, there's a tap behind that door right there. Oh, no. Right between that door right there. 
No, there's a tap. I heard a tap right next to me. That might be up the top. No, that was that door. I heard a. That is under. That is underneath. The it might have been me because when I went like this. Oh, um, it could have been. I was like, nope. No, it was just like, nope. Yep, I'm not yep. doing this. You walk towards this again, but can you come through the lights? Just due to the construction. Cut and the lights are on. Show us that you're here. You don't like the red light, do you? Could you stand in the middle of the hallway and keep shining? Man. Would you like us to play you some music? Come down go around. Come talk to us. Can you still see it? Look, usually I'd say the lights play tricks on your eyes, but clearly they don't black out. Can you walk by this again? It's cold right here. Mm-hmm. It got cold real quick, right? Yeah. Could you come serve us a drink? Yeah. would like a drink, please. Let's clear your spots for him. Yeah, no, you guys are good. Excuse me, Derek. Is he following me? Yes, <laughs> going along. It's probably back because of the child buying the bar. I can do pictures. You could probably do videos, it's just a different process. Yeah, I don't know if she knows the process. Oh, it is. Um, could you walk towards us? Could you walk across the room? Could you walk across the room for me? Where is the red light coming from? So do you, oh, you have, do you have the red light? Oh, that's the temperature. Could you walk across the hallway for us? I seen it right here. Came down from here. Hey guys, can they see it? Can we have a phone? Yeah. What is this? It's like backlight. Oh, this is another EMF detector. This is more precise. Okay. Oh, I just need something. So. Harry left us. <laughs> Shadow Traffic, that's T1. 
Hello Harry, can you come touch this in front of me? Just like that? Can you make one of these lights turn yellow? Either the EMS or... The EMS or maybe... This thing? You can just wave your hand over it. Uh, it's an EMF. That's an EMF. It's just a different. What one. is this? this they're both. They're all EMF things. Uh, this one's like, we're like, it's kind of like a REM pod where you can just, they wave their hand in front of it. Oh, I see. So if nobody's hearing it, yeah. the lights turn on, and something was there. I wish they could read more history so you could know what kind of ghosts there are. I need to buy a sphere box because then you can ask them. Who's knocking? If there's a person here, could you touch one of the instruments in front of us? Daddy, can you do that? Can you hold it and see if it's No, that doesn't for me too. Oh. And if you reach, reach your hand over a little bit farther, you get this board here. Oh, what is that? It's kind of like the REM pod, like where if something touches it, it will go off. Oh, can you take a picture of it with this? Did you take a picture of this already? Oh no! Ooh! Why is it Your hand is. What is this? There's a light stuck in there. That's, I think it's that light that's making it stay on. No, maybe not. No? I don't know why. Can you move your hand away from it? I, I don't think it's his hand at all. <laughs> okay, now put your hand by it. Um, just put it down. Put it down on the ground. Put it down on the table. Not touching it, right? Yeah. Did it go off when you touch the sign? Okay, I think. No. <laughs> no, why is it staying on? Why did it stay on for so long? <laughs> Can you touch one of the instruments in front of us? It's not. She don't want to talk to us. <laughs> Could you touch the, the lights with the tall thing on it for me? You can drain the battery on my phone if you want. Use all the power you need. Is that you? Yeah. Somebody said that. You guys are doing this stuff. Did you go to this after? I actually saw them more on down in Virginia. Did you touch the REM pod in front of me? No, I haven't. There's a quick one. We do things on our own. Here's a ball. Yeah. 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 Is there like a process that can happen? Could I get a drink? What do you mean? I know some groups like to go through classes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's classes. I can hear you guys. 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 I can hear you gu
actually done yeah, cases. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh
Maybe he's going to get the drinks now. Are you bringing me back the drinks? Well, he's still touching it. Is, is this touch sensitive or no? It's electronic. No, I'm sitting here and we're having a session with Harry here. Harry, can you make the light grow green? He stopped lighting it up. He's, he's touching it though. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. Harry, Harry I'll, go, I'll go order a drink if you can make this glow blue. Could you do that for me? Maybe he's trying, but that's not like. Do you need? Well. If you need energy, you can drain. Feel free to drain my phone. Don't touch mine. The ghost upstairs already drained mine. You can drain my phone. It's right here. If you need the energy. Here, Harry. Why don't you touch this one? All right. There we go. There you go, Harry. Is that the phone? Okay, let's move this, like, slide the phones away a little bit more from yeah. here. My phone's off, so it won't do anything. Oh, okay. Can you make that okay. a different color? Harry, can, can you make this different, a different color, too? Yeah? Yeah? yeah. All right. Have that Harry, my man. Oh. Okay. Come on, Harry. It's not my phone. Yeah. Tyler. It's either New York City or Baltimore. I'm going to go I think that he, I think that he really wants me to get up and dance with him. <laughs> Can you make the a REM pod glow blue if you want him if you want to dance with her? Light this up rainbow and I'll get up and dance with you. <laughs> Is that a no? Are you giving me sex? <laughs> Maybe I want to now. Do you still want to? <laughs> Come on, Harry. Let's dance. Let's dance. Harry. Let's dance. 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 Let's dance.
Shane. Uh, you guys have the slow people. Exactly. Like, no, you guys haven't been here. You guys haven't been here either, right? No. You know, not really in the history. All right, so I'll give you the brief history. My name's Kyle, by the way. I'm the vice president of the Friends of Whitehill Mansion. Are you recording me? Yeah. Why did you tell me that? Uh, <laughs> I used your real name, too. I know. I was supposed to use my pseudonym. Um, I'm also a part of Get Haunted, um, so I'm kind of dual purposes. So we go around traveling, um, do investigations, do different places, bring people out. You guys can buy tickets and whatnot. So, um, But White Hill. So White Hill is almost 300 years old. Um, 1723 on the front porch, you know, it's really creepy falling down. Um, that's actually a little bit of a misnomer because the house that's sitting here today dates back to about 1750, 1760. There was a house here in 1723 um, by the Fields family who were the original settlers of the area. Um, but it wasn't this house. There's probably another house somewhere on the property. We just don't know. It's just lost to history. But we do know there was three generations of Fields. Um, they all were named Robert. It gets very confusing, but Robert II is where most of the story goes around. So Robert II built this house in about 1750, 1760. Um, the other side is an addition that was born around 1780, 1790. But there is some kind of, um, a lot of the historians and architects came in and they think that some of it may be parts of the 1723 house. Second, this time period, right around the American Revolution, leading up to it, he was very politically and socially connected. Uh, he had a lot of money. He owned over 600 acres. He owned a commercial wharf behind the house. And next street over, he owned a um, tavern, which is basically an old-time hotel. Um, another commercial wharf down there. He was involved in politics. He was he was well known in the area. Did he own anything on the opposite side of the river? Um, no, but he also had property down in Philadelphia, so he was pretty wealthy. Um, he also was very politically connected. Um, leading up to the American Revolution, he was involved in a, a committee called the Correspondence Committee, which was basically they, all the colonies kept in communication, writing back and forth, opposing British taxes. So um, one night he went on one of his ships down to Philadelphia, allegedly to one of these Correspondence Committee meetings. He never came back. Um, he drowned in the river. Um, they found his body three days later on the Pennsylvania side. He had servants with him, and the servants were asked, like, what happened to Mr. Fields? And they were like, well, he fell off the boat. He was drunk. All this stuff. Did ten stories. Had their no, yeah, no. One, <laughs> it was very weird. Very um, mis it's just a mystery. No one really could get a direct answer. So, the American Revolution was kind of building up. So they kind of pushed it under the rug as an accidental drowning. But there's some rumors that it could have been politically or business related. But that left his wife Mary Fields pregnant with her seventh child um, to run this whole property. Seven? Seventh child. She's pregnant. Um, so she was left with all this, and at that time, that was kind of unheard of um, for a woman at that time to be in charge of all this, but she had no choice. Um, shortly after that, the American Revolution basically broke, broke out on her front lawn. So if you guys want to walk, we'll come this way a little bit. So you can see throughout the years, um, White Hills had many, many renovations. Um, in the 1890s, a field, uh, family called the Crossleys came in here, and they basically took a colonial house and changed it drastically and made it into a Victorian Queen Anne style architecture. So in colonial times, it was just a square box. So the crossies came in, added this on there, added the windows. As we go around the back of the house, you'll see the real architectural features yeah. that they, they added. Um, the Crossy family made a lot of their money um, in that time period from Trenton, New Jersey, was uh, one of the pottery capitals of the world. Um, and they fed a lot of the materials and machinery um, to for that whole industry. Um, but to go back to Mary Fields real quick, so she was left here and the American Revolution pretty much broke out her front lawn. Um, she was visited multiple times by the precursor to the American Navy, um, right at her wharf. Um, she had dinner with them a couple times. The local British troops got word of it, came and visited her and basically searched her house, her property because they thought she was harboring rebels. Um, she was a woman of means and was able to be like, hey, beat it. Like, get out of my house. I don't want nothing to do with your war. They did come back a couple times and forced entry, searching the house. Um, they thought she was hiding rebels in her tunnels. So she did. Uh, there was tunnels that dated back to colonial times. They went from the basement all the way down here to the river. Um, there's probably one here that they don't know exactly where it is, but they did find the other one um, on the archaeological digs that we've had. Um, they kind of mapped it. They have collapsed. They collapsed about in the 60s, um, but they were there from colonial times, which is pretty cool. Um, but right before Washington crossed the Delaware in 1776, Mary got a knock on her door. It was the Hessians. Does anyone know who the Hessians were? No. History quiz. 
Yeah. So the Hessians were hired mercenaries from Germany, from Germany, mm -hmm. um, hired uh, by the British to fight in their behalf. So they knocked on the door and said, hey, we want a quarter here. And again, Mary was like, I don't want anything to do with the war. Leave me and my family alone. They're like, well, we're the nice ones, so you should let us in. And at the time, the Hessians also were in Bordentown, the next town over, mm -hmm. and they were like burning everything they could to stay warm in people's houses, tearing their fences apart, taking their furniture. So, quote unquote, nice. One. So Mary was like, "All right, I'll let you in." And they stayed here. Captain Rendon with the Hessians stayed here for two weeks. Um, he brought his own cook, brought his own food. He never took any food from Mary. Um, he brought his own doctor, and the doctor actually helped one of Mary's sick kids. Um, wow. We actually have a letter that Mary wrote to her uh, to her her sister that said. Uh, Captain Rendon was the finest little Dutchman she ever met. So she made out pretty good in that time period. Um, Mary eventually remarried. Follow me down. So. You can't see how close we are to the Delaware River. It would have been much closer in colonial times. Um, that railroad track right there um, is now the river line that runs from Trenton to Camden, I believe. But that's also where the first railroad in New Jersey was was right there um, but back in colonial times um, Mary Fields met her second husband we think um, right back out here uh, he was a Navy captain called um, Thomas Reed um, she married him in 1779 he was um, his brother was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence from Delaware George Reed, George Reed. yep that was his brother uh, her, his brother yep um, so he was a very famous uh, captain of his time and he was very good friends with a guy named John Barry. If you've ever heard of uh, Commodore Tom, John Barry, he was the father of the American Navy. There's a bridge named after him. Um, yep, so she remarried him. He's one of three confirmed deaths in the house. So in all of our history, we only have three confirmed deaths in the house. Um, wow. We think that Mary met Thomas Reed right out here because after Philadelphia fell to the British, um, all the US Navy came right up here. Most of them went to Gordontown but Thomas Reed and John Barry brought two brand new warships that were just built six months prior um, right off here and they were ordered to scuttle them. They actually wrote letters to George Washington saying, we don't want to scuttle them. We can protect them and we can defend this position, but it was ultimately made to scuttle them. So they basically sank them in a way that the enemy couldn't reuse them. So it's kind of cool to think that right out there it was warships. Um, one of them may still be there, we don't know. One was also, um, after the war, they raised it and resold it as a commercial ship, so it could still be out there. Um, but you so can dies. see some of the architecture. No, no, no. Um, that's mostly the Crossleys, but if you see the checker pattern on mm -hmm. the brickwork there, uh, that's what's called Flemish Bond. Okay. And Mr. Field, when he did that, that was a way of showing how much money and power you had, because that was super labor intensive and really expensive. And it was even more expensive to do it on both sides of the house. So it's on the front of the house and the back of the house, which is kind of unheard of. And this is still, in colonial times, this would have been the back of the house. So it was a way of saying, look, I'm powerful, I have money. So, and the, the darker colored brick is actually a brick that they actually burn. And it's called vetrified, so they actually burn it to make it look like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, that really disgusting room that looks like it has all those windows, that was built in about the 50s. Um, that was when, this was a restaurant. So from 1922 all the way to 1992, it was a restaurant. And they put that on for the called the river room and it had a grand view of the river before everything grew in and now it's a jungle. So, it's kind of so who, yeah, they should move on. Restaurant. So in 1922, a guy named uh, Heinrich Blink, he bought it, turned it into a famous German restaurant during Prohibition. He dug the basement out three feet by hand and put a speakeasy in. Um, he used the tunnels to kind of move his um, illegal alcohol allegedly up and down the local river towns. Um, his family ran it from 1922 all the way to 1972, so almost 50 years. So they ran it super successfully, and then it changed hands all the way up to 1992, different different um, different uh, families and stuff. Um, but they always lived in the house. So on the second floor, half of the second floor was their private residence, and everything else was open to the public. So when we go up to the one room, I'll show you. That was one of the dining rooms. So. I thought someone was firing. <laughs> No, it was a jet oh, here, boom, 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 boom. You can actually see where the two houses were put together, where the addition is, that black line. Yep. Yeah. That's where the 1750 house and the 1790 house would have been. Um, where it looks on the back of the house like something collapsed, it did collapse. So there was some addition to the restaurant, and you can see the back of the house. Is that crack? But this is where one of the tunnels was. That's, that's a train. train. Dang. 
thing. This is where one of the tunnels ran, and when the tunnel started to collapse, it actually collapsed the additions that were on the back of the tunnel. So that's where it was like something tearing off. We don't know. I know um, we're having another archaeological dig, hopefully, either August or September, and they're going to focus on that side where the other side of the tunnel is to see if they can find that and see if they can dig into that and see if they can. So, I mean, so if it's not terribly damaged and collapsed, yes. they could reconstruct it. Yeah, to... possibly. Yeah, or at least trace where it went. Because if they can trace where it went, I'm sure there was other outbuildings mm -hmm. that they had and they could know, like, hey, down here is where they had the fish house or the bank house. Those are tours for the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tunnels could be by the ground singing in some places, too. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Like, I'm guessing there was one that way because yeah. the ground Yeah, they, they kind of right traced there. this one. They did ground penetrating radar because a lot of. Um, is that the pink flag report? That was actually supposed to be Avenger. You seen the. Uh, yeah. Like right there, I'm guessing there was probably one across there. It's that possible. Area. It's very possible. Some of drooping. Let's come, Let's come over, here. over here for a quick second. Yeah, absolutely. That's, what that's a fun story. So that house, we think, dates back to about 1720. Um, it used to be the carriage house for this house and probably the original one. That's Mr. Glint's grandson, who he still lives there. He's about 70. Oh, wow. He's a great neighbor because he doesn't care about this event <laughs> at all. So, um, but yeah, he grew up, actually, that room, that window right there was in bedroom. So he grew up there, and then he, he moved there. So that's I cool. Ask him, I ask him, Shit that happens in Arizona, haunted. He never says anything. I'm like, this guy. <laughs> he, he probably yeah. sees his uh, dad in there, maybe. Yeah, I don't think he cares. But, um, ever let you guys come over and, like, no, he doesn't. Wants to be left alone. All but, I know is he has a dog and his name's Tugboat. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> name. Yeah. it's about to start. Ooh, I have a, ooh, that looks cool. I love the top for like the. That's like a cool, like. So this part they redid, right? The remodeling. Yeah. I'm gonna get the thumbnail. Yeah, come on, you have to admit you would be taking a whole lot of fucking pictures. That's too much. This car too much. I wish I could see my phone screen. Yeah, Tyler, let's go on the ground. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I'm stuck. Me up. Yeah, I will. Hold on, let me, let me do it again for... Oh, you stupid, you got too close. Mm. Help at least a little bit. Yeah, there, good luck. Give Here, me your camera. Yo, no, it's not My You're getting old. He's probably grown up with it, so he's probably just yeah. used to it. Like he, like, he probably just looks like the ghost be like, so... He respects the fact mm -hmm. that people want to see the history. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty nice having him there because he kind of keeps an eye on the house. If somebody tries to do break-in or something, he's okay. with the whole uh, issue with the fence? In the back so the fence was, in 1992 when this was a restaurant, it closed down because there's a chemical company next door. They bought out the last owners. I guess they didn't want the liability of anything possibly ever happening, like a public restaurant next to a chemical company. So they bought it, and they just put the fence around it, and they were kind of going to maybe turn it into uh, the offices or something, but they never mm -hmm. really did anything with it. And then the last local mayor of Fieldsboro came in and he ended up doing some kind of legal thing. Purchased it off of them, and then that's when the friends, who we are, came around and kind of helped raise money and try to save it. So. Mm -hmm. That's, 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 that's a story we heard. It's a really small town, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> Fieldsboro, I was just pulling in the domain, though. That's, that's quite a power move. So, um, this area is really cool because when they did the two archaeological digs, they focused mainly in this area, um, and they found over 20,000 artifacts in this area. God! Wow. Um, through that is 20,000 artifacts, they determined that before there were any European settlers here, um, this was Native American land. Ooh. So we got the Lenape Indians that were here during the winter, and then they would move on. Um, 
I've seen some weird Native American shit out here. Is there a Native um, American? Was there a burial ground here anyway? We don't know. We don't think so. But the other thing is too with the Fields family, they were Quakers, um, and they never marked their graves. So, so they could be. They could be anywhere. We don't know. They could be, or we don't know where they're. We would have to look for a mound of some sort, because that's would be. The mound. Do you know how many acres of property is? At the heights of the, the fields' height, they had over 600 acres. So that's, so that's most of Fieldsboro yeah. currently. Right. So then yeah. that could also be Native American burial ground anywhere within that. Any they, big they mound here, but from what from what the archaeologists determined, I guess through the artifacts they found, they think it was mostly uh, a winter camping ground. Like they would mm -hmm. come here in the winter, stay uh, in the winter, and then move on. So maybe, maybe not. We just don't know. A lot more research to be done. Might not be a burial ground. They might have passed. I see something like that, and I'm um, dancing with wolves. They did also find, yeah, and they, they were really excited, area. they found the colonial outhouse. Oh, God. <laughs> they were so excited because <laughs> that's, in colonial times, you didn't have, like, trash pickup, so you just threw everything right down the toilet, which was an outhouse. So they were able to determine how much wealth the Fields family actually had because of a lot of their broken silverware and their, their china and stuff. It was really, yeah, it was really high quality. Like, you broke a glass, they were like, what do you do with it? Right down there. Wow. So... <laughs> that was I really wondered, cool. I always wondered how that worked way back in the day. How the rich people got rid of their plates? Or just trash pick up well, in general. Yeah, you just threw it wherever. Or burned it. Toilet silver. So, um, but yeah, so, it's really cool. We, you can't, we can't take you up there. But up in the attic in this side of the house, there's a thing up there called a the cistern. And we think it was installed in about 1860. And it's basically a big wooden drum that's about four feet around, Ooh. about four foot high. And they used to actually pump water from a well in this is one of the earliest houses in New Jersey that had gravity-fed plumbing. So, oh, okay. so my question with that is, I know I had talked to someone earlier, but with them restoring the house, so are you guys hoping to eventually be able to do full house work once the rest? Yes, of the that's that's the main <coughs> sorry, main goal is to do that. But do they have an expectancy on the project or like, time-wise? No, it's going to like a long, long time. There's a lot of red tape to go through <laughs> through the historical societies. Yeah, of and is there any areas they're specifically focusing on at the moment? The so right right now they're focusing on the exterior. They call it the exterior envelope. So, okay. so it's basically covering up any access points that moisture the outside elements can get in. Um, um, comes in yeah. yeah, they got to remove the paint off the brick, bring the original brickwork back. Um, the front porch. We have a grant from 2020, a $50,000 grant to fix the front porch and stabilize it. Um, but COVID hit, so. so we did get approved in 2023, but then when they went to go do it, the weather was too cold because of the materials they had to use, so they had to push it back. And they were going to start it this week, and we were like, please God, we have an event, not Which this left? week. So, so within the next few months, you guys should Hopefully. Start. Is the foundation good on the yeah, original so part? It's, it's so structurally, good. it's completely sound. The historical architect said it's completely sound. It needs help, but it's mm -hmm. it's not going to go it's nowhere. It's held itself up well. Yeah. They built it well. So, if you guys want to follow me back, yeah. so we can't sneak up into another room. That's like the one well, time you hit the funeral. Well, remember, they built they build everything better back then. Now we just get a, some paper and cardboard. Yeah, houses are made out of cardboard. I don't think it's exactly cardboard, but something like Tyler, that. Derek literally punched a when hole in his wall. What do you mean? When I was asking you about the uh, fence, I was talking about, did someone try to get in right there? Yes. What? Yes. We used to have a lot of break-ins. Really? Um, until we got a security system. Because it was like local kids breaking in. Because it's haunted. Well, that's what ruins everything for everyone exactly. else when you're light. Because I know down. Exactly. <laughs> but it's really great because we're in a really small town, so the cops are always here, and they're they're just waiting for something to happen. So when that alarm goes off, they're like, "Oh, let's go to White Hill." And it's like, "Wow!" It's like, <laughs> so it's like down. It's down. funny because they always call. They always call Dawn, our president, and she calls me from the closest. Yeah. And the cops, they'll never go in on her. Uh, uh, there's times where oh, cops are weird about that. There's times where yeah, the they alarm is going off, and they were like, "They're back here." And I'm like, how does this work? You want me to open it up? I'm like, no, you, you go first. But I'm like, what? There's so much, somebody in there. Like, I'm cool with ghosts, but here's some it's the crazy living thing that there's right. a problem. Exactly. Well, find out. Somebody has <laughs> all first, strung so out like, on something with a firearm or something. This, uh, it's kind of funny. Down in our area, there's an old VA hospital that we can't go in anymore because yeah. kids go in there and they fire on the top floors, it drops down to the bottom floors, and I'm like, you can run it forever. You're talking about Fort Howard? So luckily, like they, they've, got, they've got they've got full blown well, security. Well, luckily, like from, you said, it's a small enough town yep. that they wrap people they, they got they got the they got the message now that hey, there's stuff going on here, and we have our, uh, private investigation pretty much mm -hmm. every Friday. So there's always somebody, okay. somebody, someone's trying to break in. 
That happens down by our house. They got three pickup trucks that were like lifted, so it was pretty easy for them to get under there. And I was there um, for work, mm -hmm. so I just happened to be there like the day after it happened. And I was like, what are you guys going to do? Like, how do you catch them? They're like, we have security cameras. And I was like, yeah, but you can't, you know, it's a hoodie and it's yeah. dark and it's whatever. And they're like, oh no, last time this happened, the pissed off ex wife called and we had the guy in two days. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> small town <laughs> stuff, right? right? Uh, I have another question. <laughs> yeah. What's with the owls? Did the owners just like owls, or? No, it's the turf birds. We had a woodpecker situation. Uh huh. <laughs> woodpecker situations are not good situations. No. Not for old buildings, especially. Nope. I'll show you where you There's some. Looks like you got bloody pants. Okay. Oh no, here in Edgewood. That's right. Are you talking about Fort Howard? We've been in there. There. I have in the hospital. Oh, man. I had a fun time running across the. Do you know what Lake Clifton High School is? Look, I know I shouldn't. Yeah. But I'm not going in there to destroy anything. I just want to see. When you said old VA hospital, I thought you guys are talking about Fort Howard. I bet. Do you know? Do you know Lake Clifton High School? We've we've been in there. Oh, gotcha. yeah, we uh we had these cool guys. They were painting. Like they were like, can you please not I'm upload the videos for a while? Because we want. Security. Will, they looked at me from down uh, on the ground. They won't go in. They're like, yeah. what are you doing? I said, looking around. He said, do you have any weapons on you? No. You have any matches? No. He's like. Okay. Sure, I can't afford matches. Our normal group I'm with, um, one of our members is a Baltimore County officer. Oh, okay. So they use. It's quiet. Yeah, sure, it's actually a good part of it. My area is quiet most of the time. <laughs> I was afraid to walk downstairs. Find out. You know, oh, am I recording? Uh, All right, good. <laughs> Bro, these are safer than the stairs at my work. I'm not saying something. Floor dip. Oh, we're gonna use a spear. <laughs> Dang. Oh yeah, people tell the people were shorter back then. That is true. Yes, definitely they were shorter. Yeah. Sorry, sorry I didn't mean to insult short. you guys. I'm sitting down. Oh, oh my god. So Eric is in that. the other room. So I'll start with this Damn. room. So to the Fields children married into the Stockton family. Richard Stockton was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Um, after his death, his wife came and lived here. Um, she was one of the three confirmed deaths. Her name was Anna Spade Stockton. She was a, phone, a famous uh, poet of her time, which is kind of unheard of as a woman, but she was also a personal pen pal of her wife. Now, we know when she died, um, it was kind of a lengthy illness and a lengthy death, I guess you could say, and all her family came to visit. Um, so we kind of think for his wife when he was here. We can't prove it. If we did, it would look a lot better. Um, and there'd be a plaque. Yes, there'd be a, a, a big plaque. Yep. Um, but when this was a restaurant, um, this was actually the people who lived here. This was their living room. So everything on that side of the house was open to the public. Um, that room, I'm hoping we'll tear it down with the pop in there real quick. That was a private dining room. Oh. So in the 20s, 30s, even up into the 50s and 60s, this was a big place where allegedly a lot of monsters came, social lights. Our prohibition, the keys in the basement, maybe some of the savory characters. But during that time, Mr. Blink also had his family here. And guys like John Dillinger, Bernie Boy, and stuff like that. We do you know in the 60s and 70s, uh, what's his name? Sam the former famous New Jersey mobster, used to come here all the time. And a hostess asked him, like, why do you come here all the time? He said, food's great, and no one can find it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this hallway, ghost story, super active. Uh, one day I was here during uh, a regular history tour, and we left, I went to that small room, we came out, and there was a, a little boy, black hair, blue eyes, staring right at me in that hallway. We made eye contact, and I was like, whose kid is this? I'm thinking this in my head, I'm like, whose kid is this? And then just gone. Like, not fade out, just gone. And I was like, okay, weird. <laughs> um, a lot of people see a, um, an older gentleman up here, too. Um, we don't know if he comes from the attic, and uh, it's really strange. Yeah, we're going to go over there. Eric, stop. <laughs> stop. Don't encourage him. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to take them back downstairs. Awesome. We'll we'll done done. We, were, we were done. We were just BSing for a minute. Honestly, it's hot in here. Go ahead, Slayer. I don't want to. 
I'm going to nap. No one else is up here, so you can leave the door. I want a nap. <laughs> That's what I want. It's almost it's time. On record, time. I want a nap. So this was also Mary Fields' master bedroom in colonial times. Uh, if you guys had any lectures today down in the, the front room, it probably would have matched that room. So it probably would have went about six feet that way. That rounded wall was put in the 20s before the restaurant mm -hmm. um, to accommodate a women's restroom. So this was the private dining room, right? So you had that doorbell on the wall. That's how you used to call your waiter back then. Go ahead and push. This one? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, shit, don't worry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you used to call your waiter. Um, so there's, there's, this is where we get a lot of the, the rumored monetized, especially with the speed PC. Um, but my crowning jewel here is right behind you on that wall. Remember I was telling you about Thomas Reed, um, Mary Fields, um, second husband? That's actually a document that I found in the Library of Congress that shows, that's a report from him to George Washington saying, I'm at White Hills on this date, this is how many men are with me, and this is our ship. So it puts him here at White Hill at that date, which we think is when he met Mary Fields in the little maybe love story started. Because for a while, we always had the rumor that it was like a marriage of necessity. He was a rich naval captain, she was a widow with all this land, but it seems like they were actually in love, so kind of a happy story. Um, another fun story, since you guys are the last tour, that guy right there, Commodore John Barry right there, big time in the U.S. Navy, very good friends with Commodore Thomas Reed. Thomas Reed was away, he came here to stay with Mary in his travels, and he was in, I guess, I don't even know if that man was back then. He was somewhere shaving, um, and the British showed up, heard that he was here, came looking for him, knocked on Mary's door on the front door and said, hey, you know he's here, let us in. And she was like, wait, 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 hold on. Guys, come in, you look tired. Have some beer, have some food. She installed him for four hours while John Barry ran out the back door, got on his horse, and fled. So it's a cool story. Um, that window over there, there's been uh, reports of an old man waving out the window. Um, he's done it to people who do not have any idea about the window. There was construction workers um, that were using the dumpster we had here. Um, and they looked up and somebody was waving at him. And they called the mayor and was like, who lives in the big old house? Oh, and he's like, uh, no one, it's a historic property. Like, right. so, we'll actually lives here. so they never came back to use the dumpster ever again. <laughs> <laughs> um, and those books right there that he's filming through, those are actually legit wanted books. <laughs> Everyone who's this guy, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, no they're not. You have seven uh, days. <laughs> but I'm on. Um, that's where we're off over there because in 2021, we had 35,000. 1893. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So on Kyle's birthday, the library volunteer here had to help the beekeeper cut a hole in the wall and remove 35,000 bees. So that was my. Thank you. You're welcome. The bees are happily somewhere on a farm making honey. I'll make a well. Happy story, but it was the most. There was nothing but honey on this floor. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, I have a question. Sure. How long did it take to keep the bees out here? It took all day. So I didn't know how you did it, right? I'm not a beekeeper. So he has a back room. It's like a shop back, but he can turn it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bunch of recipes. There's it right there. Be it's, yeah. just a, it's a so vacuum that you can turn it down. It's hundred years old. You just suck them up. And I'm like ready Super for like, like the movies, right? Like, right. right. You're like yeah. banana cream, for like, clam yeah. juicy. You just suck them up. Then I take them somewhere else and put them back yeah, 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 yeah. He has we a range usual with a local farmer that he takes all his It's a history book with a bunch of recipes in it. It was, it. it was crazy. Yeah, illustrative yeah. notes. It's a school lesson. Yeah. But so oh. any other singing ins Hold it towards the Singing, flying insects? But um, I definitely want to thank you guys for coming out because us volunteers here at White Hill were not paid. We're 100 percent nonprofit, so everything we bring back into the house goes right into restoration. So thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys no problem. What are those? I hope you guys enjoy it. I am on Yelp, so if you give me a Yelp review, that's a joke. Come on, laugh. I laugh. And I'll walk you guys out. Hopefully you enjoyed your day here at White Hill. Oh awesome. We did. Was that red book used at the restaurant? Because it had a bunch of recipes in it. I don't know. Like I don't know medical they, recipes. I really don't know where they came from. Through. It's like cough syrup and yeah. med and like a, I'm, I don't know how to talk. Thank you. Thank you. Here, thank you. Thank you. Question. Sure. Uh, I talked to someone down at one of the tables. They said something about the bathroom. Is that under restoration? The what? The bathroom that was up here. I'll just let you guys see. Okay. She said something about the bathroom. It's probably Danny, right? Oh, that was, that was, I think it was, it was uh, Don't don't acknowledge Kara. Why? Mm -hmm. 
I just mess with you. I don't know. It's been a long day. This is Kara. She's another paranormal Hi, investigator. Kara. Hi, Kara. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good. She's Hi. an all right, all right investigator. Are any of us good investigators that really like? Are we like? I'm, I'm great. Right? I believe it. Oh, I had a whole conversation. You had a whole conversation. I, I recorded, yeah. Nice. Yeah. He really wanted us to buy drinks. I was like, "Do you want us to buy what drinks?" Straight to green. Would uh, coincide with one dropping from the ceiling in the speakeasy. I don't know. Because they had a motion detector on the floor, and it completely avoided that. You've seen the shadow I mean, drop from the ceiling and shoot yep. right. We've had. I don't know if that's a necessarily a white hole thing. We've got it at other locations where I don't know if they just pop out of wherever. I don't I mean, know. I know. Some a shadow yeah, they pop out of the ceiling and then So it's like a kind of a thing that happens at a lot of one locations. Just maybe something passing through. Yeah, yeah it's okay. locked down and dark. Isn't there a portal in the house? Okay. I mean, they said something about a portal house, but I mean, there wasn't enough tragedy here to really open one. But I'll show you the bathroom. You, you can make one. You can't tell them one. All right. Turn your camera off. Turn it off. That's why I was actually. Can I show him the bed? Yeah. yeah. Do I turn on my camera or is it a joke? <laughs> I can't tell what this man. Was it a joke or do I turn off my camera? You can take a quick picture. Okay. Yeah. And wow. if anyone asks, Carol, let you come back here. Uh, <laughs> Mike. Mike, he's going to be doing the investigation tonight. Awesome. So I told him I'd run through. Yeah, you, could, you could walk over. Right. Oh, that's not a creepy doll at all. Oh, there's a doll. Oh my god. Look, in, look down there. And if, uh, if anyone says... Deck, move over a little bit. Oh, hell no. What? Why is there a doll? A doll? So, we, don't go we do some, like, haunted candlelight so tours, right? Yeah. And we had a volunteer who collect really old antique dolls. And she said, do you guys want some um, for your aesthetics or whatever? And we said, sure, we'll take some. She's like, I have some overflow. I live in an apartment. I can't fit a lot. Okay. What she gave us 43. Oh, so that's that's you, right? only a couple of them. Most of them we put away because we didn't want to be known as a dollhouse. Did you have? Did you guys have a cat problem? No, we had a uh, something die in one of the walls in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you tell us stand here. You smell it. It was about fifty times worse. That's why there's like every air freshener known to man. No idea what it was. Lord, Couldn't right. find it. Some sort of it probably was like a mouse or something. So. No, thank um, you. So, as an, yep, no problem. as an exterminator, I'm going to tell you that's more than just a mouse. Okay. Good that is at least that is at least a squirrel. A squirrel or a rat similar size to a squirrel or bigger. Okay. The fact I that you, you that, the, the fact that you can still smell it that strong. It was pretty horrible. Yeah. That it's still this kind of strong. So yes. like within the next ten years, you think you guys have had the full house open for that? I don't know. I hope so. It would be nice. I mean, it's definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you book it privately, um, yeah. we let you get your full brain on that. Yeah, but like events like this. But events like this, there's so many people who can't. No, 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 of course. I mean, we're already planning on booking a uh, full, full investigation, yeah. but, I mean, looking at it from the outside, it's you appear smaller in the than what you see on the inside. You walk inside. Yeah, sure. well, there is also a whole other half over there. Hell no. Oh, this is this half. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So, from here on over is the addition. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so, even there's still an attic. Yeah. Yeah, the attic yeah. and the basement. So, and the attic. Okay. It's so long to escape out. Is it private tours, like, specific to the room, or do you have to well, if you guys book a private investigation, we do Friday nights um, only till midnight, but Saturday nights go to tour. And basically, what we do is if you want to get the tour, we get a quick history tour, and then we leave you on the floor over the trailer if you need anything. You just, okay. you just do your thing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, you, you guys offer that. It's a lot cheaper here than it is. And we try to be as affordable as we can because we know a lot of these places are expensive. And Let's get back into the store. Exactly. So, so we don't want to. Like, Price it out so people don't come. No. Do they know how much the full house restoration is yet, or have they not even tried to price it? In 2009, they did a, a whole plan um, to become a historical site. They had to do a whole plan to so basically combine it. At that time, we didn't really know what we were going to do, so they, to bring it back to like a restaurant, it was $11 million oh, in 2009. Oh, 2000. So oh that's to bring it back to God. a restaurant. Right. So probably to bring it back to, if we're going to do like a museum or something, mm. probably close to. Could you knock or close the door right there? Just had a heart attack. So, does that help you gauge oh, how long it's going to be? Oh my god. No. Oh no. boy, you give it a quarter of the way? Can you close uh, that door? No. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm so glad you guys should start doing conventions like this more often. I mean, that's definitely. Every, every little bit helps. I'm oh, sure this helped me. It did. So, I mean, I really look forward to seeing what you guys can do yeah. with the place. I mean, it's already beautiful mm -hmm. as it is. And you haven't really, you experienced a little bit of the paranormal, but. 
She'll tell you, this place is wild. Yeah, this Absolutely. place is, it's I mean, no joke. It's worth the two-hour drive to come back, so I mean, this place... Where are you coming from? Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, from Baltimore. Yeah, I do, I'm two hours the other way. I'm more towards Manhattan. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely... We usually go for the abandoned places, but so, I mean, when we get places like this, it's... Absolutely worth it, and if it's helping restore the place. Yep. Absolutely. Like urban explorer type thing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, I'm, my YouTube channel does that's explore the So, I mean, anytime you get a chance to be a People were really short, man. I'm normal person height. I feel I feel normal for once. Alright. Well thank you guys. I gotta no run, but thank you guys for coming. No problem. Thank you. I guess I'm gonna stay up there. Where y'all? You guys from Ireland? It's October 9th. Not including your uh, airfare or your. <laughs> uh, well, luckily we have airfare discounts for uh, the a family member, and it was like 2,800 oh, yeah. tax for me and him to go. Me? Um, this is my uncle, because that's my little brother. I don't think they let me take him out of state, out of the country. I just realized what you're sure. Go ahead, I'll follow you. Which way you want to go? You want to go left? He's only 16. So I don't think they're going to be yeah, super Wait, don't let? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I don't think they're going to let us take him out of the country. Right. Just because he's 16. But me and him, I mean, I'm, I'm Irish, so I mean, I wouldn't mind going. Just to hang out with Katrina for two weeks, though, too. So she's, she's great. I was going to I was gonna do, try and do the, um, the Italy one with Teresa and Papa. Mm -hmm. I was going to try to do that one. I was going to try and do that one. But it just got, because my boys wanted to come. My boys were going to yeah. It's like, you know, it's like four or eight. If they were like working super full time, good paying jobs, absolutely. Exactly. Then, then like it's a 18, no, I've been trying to pay for college for them next year. It's like, no. Uh, absolutely. I mean, when we do horror conventions too. So, yeah. like, trying to fit it into our. We already have a busy convention schedule at the end of the year. So, right. I'm like, we can make it work somehow, I'm sure, if we put in the right work. Bruh. Mm -hmm. What? I mean, I said, dude, that guy had the legit go so like walking down the steps. You want me to shoot your head? No, the guy was like this when he was going down. Because how tall he was. You gotta just have money for mainly your meals. Dude, people right. are like 4'11. Like travel expenses paid, so I mean, pay for food, gift shop, get some more equipment before we go. I mean, that's. Um, you guys doing the overnight thing? No, not tonight. No, we're gonna book something private and come back. That way we can. He was like, we'll just leave you guys alone, just have at it. I'm like, that works. I don't mind. What's your group um, it is the Unexplainable Phenomenon Research Society. So, we don't like people getting the mix up of just ghosts. Yeah. So, like, they're like, hey, we have Bigfoot in our backyard. I mean, okay, I don't believe you. I'm not getting beat up by a Yeti. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I mean, urban legends, uh, some of them have been proven to be true. So, I mean, yeah. I don't mind going to check it out. I mean, you say you see a skinwalker on the other hand. Nope. Uh, nope. Absolutely not. Yeah, you give me a tank, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, you give me a tank, you can't get in. Full body armor, maybe, so I can't get in. Knight yeah. armor. Um, no, but I mean, we just like to hear people's stories. That's the main thing. Because some people could be telling complete lies and tell a great story. I mean, yeah, you're so. absolutely right. It's, it's until you go and see it for yourself. Yeah, then you're like, oh, never mind, you didn't lie. I'm going home. See ya. So I go to people's houses. I work with utilities. Okay. So I can see, like, how, like, yeah, uh, how gas works on people. But then when you go to the places and it's like super old, mm -hmm. and you're like, hey, who's the old man up here? Like, oh, What's in this one? Ah. Okay, oh, so you got it. Let me explain. So, you know, I, I have a question. Most of the commercial and all that stuff, it's like, it's like, how the heck? John Barry. No chance. Mm -hmm. I'm going downstairs. 
Baltimore okay. City's a bad place. Right. First Look, off. A lot of crime. A lot of yeah. death. What happened to Baltimore? Oh, I see that. So it, I, I'm sure I'm going to find out. There's just no one post it. You can actually feel like it's something. It, that's a, there's a bad, not bad, I call them the bullies. Pays a flashlight. The bullies yeah. that white's block. Uh, I think they, they're trying to keep people out of there. Wasn't that the guy's bedroom? Yeah. Wow. This is Baltimore City. This and this is the brothel. This? Brothels are never good. They do a seance? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nope. This is the flop house. Oh, they told us. There's a room inside of the room. Yeah, because this is where they used to bring the hookers. Dang, man. Dang, I wish I would. Why are people so, so short? These, as you can see, it's just enough room for one mattress and two people. Same here. This is the sister. This is how they did their plumbing, oh, and they wow. got all their fresh water. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was just telling us about that. Oh, yeah, you can definitely feel the floor is a little, yep. a little mushy. Yeah. But wow. So basically, when we, when we work in here, what we do, or what I do, or whatever, mm -hmm. is um, I play hide and seek with the food in here, oh, God. and I mm -hmm. put either REM pods or and things in the room, and then I tell them to go set them off to go find it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I would love to do that, but I can't afford no REM pod. Uh, is this door shut or open? Which one, hun? The one right here. Uh, oh, no, that was, that was shut. Look how short that was. How? Stop. They must have been like... Oh, please do another bathroom. Now, ah. same here. These are all, now I can show you. Obviously, these are the closets, and you have to be careful. Oh, but this... Oh, my son keeps texting me. This again is another secret kind of way. So what it does, look, is it goes the whole length. So when you investigate, and it, see there's the little door that co that'll make it go through there. So it, when this place was raided, this is how people would hide it. They would come into the walls. Mm. Oh wow! So it's also mm. like when you investigate, you have to be careful because you don't know if anyone's behind here and you're out there. That's true. Right. Go back. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Huh? I don't wow. want to be in the back. My bully friends in the other one. Uh, I'll open the door. Right. You're what? My bully? Don't go in. I was saying away from this the stairs. The bully might push down the stairs. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's. Dude, that's that chair for you right there. Wow. So, usually whatever is in here, whoever is in here, lurks in this area and the, it'll rush up on you. And. Mm. This is the room that uh, the guy over there lived in? Which guy over there? Uh, in the barn looking building. Oh, yeah. He said he was the son? Or? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's on the other side uh, of the barn. So, but this is the, this is where if you're in here, like if I'm doing the SDS method or whatever, it'll, it comes in and rushes right wow. on you and you're kind of like, deep. But again, like I said, you gotta be careful. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's good to see people have appreciation for buildings like this. Most people don't. That is, sounds like a plane. Yeah, there's a plane in the middle of the ceiling. Station. There's and also a riverway that's mm -hmm. just younger. Did see a uh, boat jet ski go by too? Boats do fly through there. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah. Wow. We need you to uh, for the for the thing. Thank you for showing us. Kyle, look in the closet right to your right. Are you gonna that's no, Derek's kind of chair right there. Walk that chair. Right. What's that back door? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Thank you. We greatly appreciate it. I have YouTube. I am. We're setting up accounts more thoroughly, but.